Let us solve for all the complex number z such that modulus of z plus 1 divided by modulus of z minus 1 equal to 1. Of course, we can write z equal to x plus i y and then solve this equation. But there is an easier method of doing this equation. For that purpose, what we do is that we rewrite this equation as modulus of z plus 1 equal to modulus of z minus 1. And then we observe that this is same as saying distance between distance between z and 1 that is modulus of z minus 1 equal to distance between z and minus 1. So we have the real axis and imaginary axis. We have z equal to 1 and z equal to minus 1. We can clearly see that the point 0 comma 0 or the origin the, that is equidistance from z equal to 1 and z equal to minus 1. So, one such point is uh, z equal to 0. Can we have another point? If we take any point on this line, we observe that this distance must be same as this distance. And if we take any point other than this line, away from this line, this distance will be longer, it will be uh, more distance between z equal to minus 1 and the point will be more than z equal to 1 and the point. So we cannot mark any point that is outside this imaginary axis and we can mark any point on the imaginary axis that satisfies this equation. So basically what I am saying is that any point on the imaginary axis will satisfy this equation and no point outside the imaginary axis will satisfy this equation modulus of z plus 1 equal to modulus of z minus 1. So what's the answer? Well, imaginary axis. Any point on the imaginary axis that is given simply by uh, x equal to 0 therefore z equal to x plus i y equal to 0. Oh, any point on the imaginary axis is given by x equal to 0. Yes, real part is 0, 0 plus i y. So, z equal to i y, that's the solution. Okay, let's, let's do it other way. First of all, we have z plus 1, modulus of z plus 1 equal to modulus of z minus 1. Now let z equal to x plus i y. z equal to x plus i y. Then modulus of LHS is given by modulus of x plus 1 plus i y. And modulus of right hand side is given by x my modulus of x minus 1 plus i y. So that is same as saying. root under x plus 1 whole thing is square plus y square equal to root under x minus 1 whole thing is square plus y square. We can square both sides and we have x plus 1 whole thing is square equal to x minus 1 whole thing is square. Of course we can cancel y square as we like. Let's cancel y square out. Let's simplify it further. We have x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to x square minus 2x plus 1. Again, we can cancel x square. We can cancel a 1 as well or x equal to 4x equal to 0 or we can say x equal to 0. Therefore, z is given by z equal to x plus i y 
equal to 0 plus iy. That will satisfy the given equation. So we can solve the equation. However, we can simply say that uh, distance between z and 1 that is modulus of z minus 1 is equal to distance between z and minus 1 and those uh, if we draw the graph we have the complex number z equal to 1 and z equal to minus 1 and all the points that are at equidistance from those two points are basically the imaginary axis so in imaginary axis we have z equal to x plus i y and we have z equal to x plus i y while we are in imaginary axis x equal to 0 z equal to i y